know, we got something on fire over here. Where are we run? If you ask me a question. Joey, why don't you want me to ask you? Good morning, guys. Figured I would give you an update on life. Just kind of wanted to give a day in the life of working for a professional running team out here in Boulder, Colorado. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's start the morning off with some coffee. Yeah. So, so much of what I'm doing for the team right now is just taking uh, videos as well as photos and then they use them for their YouTube channel or I make the YouTube videos and they use the photos for their Instagram or I make small reels for their Instagram. That's kind of what my main like job is with the team. And right now, like we're heading out, I'm heading out to the Niwat track because some of the guys have a workout. So I'm gonna film some of that, maybe get some photos and uh, just gather some footage. This place is just like so pretty. I freaking love it. Like over here to my left, out the window, it's just like mountains. Fantastic place for a summer job. Plus the running is top notch. Like right now I'm training. I'm running like 80 mile weeks right now. Uh, or I'll hit 80 this week for the first time. And just like being able to run out here is just so much easier than being able to run anywhere else, even though it's at altitude. Just the environment around it is just so cool. I'm actually running later with my friend Ethan. He's in, he's like one of the fastest dudes in D3, if not the fastest guy. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited. What up? We got freaking Johnny Cash over here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Most handsome intern. Do I get an award for that? Can I get a plaque? Yeah. It doesn't seem like the guy's gonna run too hard today, but a little bit of a workout, so uh, it'll be fun to be out here, film some stuff, take a few photos. Five by. If you ask me a question, I said four to five. I'd love to see five. I'd Joey, why don't you want me to ask you a question? Nine days out. The question is about the question. Is that okay? No, I don't. Max, cut that. Brock and I had a summer of fun ready to go, and Max was just like, let me let you guys make your videos. What are you talking about? Yeah, while you were in fucking France. Third video is doing great right now. It is. Yeah. Always a freaking circus out here. Every pro team is out here. Team boss on 10 man, random old guys. You guys got anything to say to the vlog about Colorado in general? It's supposed to be sunny out right now. Yeah, it's <laughs> not. We definitely don't have any of that right now. That is not good. <laughs> guys had a really good workout. I mean, they just did kind of some tempo miles. Cut down with some 300s and 200s and 150s. We're going to Niwot Market now to film some stuff with Brian and Joey uh, for the documentary, which I think I already said earlier, but uh, <laughs> gonna get some footage of that. That looks nice. Yeah, oh, Jimmy got fat butterfly. Jeffing it up. That's incredible. Hi, Joey. <laughs> Am I being punked right now? <laughs> I hate Where's show. Ashton Kutcher? <laughs> Good thing it's only me and you hanging out, having fun, right? We're just at Sancho's Nobody right now. Nobody else. Nobody else here. No. It's like noon, but I'm exhausted. So tired right now. Um, probably workout I did yesterday catching up to me. I have like five hours so I'm running, so I got a little bit of time to lift, sauna, nap, and then maybe edit for an hour or so. The thing is that 24 hour fitness isn't open 24 hours. How do you name yourself 24 hour fitness here is not even open 24 hours? It was COVID and stuff that messed them up, but still, 24 hour fitness isn't open 24 hours. Tell me, get yourself straight. How much more money can you make? I'm just trying to grow up on a rich. So you might be wondering how I landed this job as an intern for Tim Man Elite. And honestly, it was just a culmination of a bunch of things. I wanna tell the full story probably on a different video. The gist of it is I was at a track meet, 
met Sam Parsons and he was like, I had a camera at the right place at the right time, sent him some of my stuff and he was like, okay, this stuff's pretty sick. And then Max, the Tim Man photographer reached out to me and was like, hey, do you wanna come intern for us this summer? And so that's how I landed here this video. I'm like, yeah, I just wanna make something. So I'm just making a video for the audience back at home, whoever that might be. And just showing you guys, okay, this is kind of what I'm doing right now. Howdy. Hey, this is vlog? Yeah, man. Hey, we wanted it. Let's do it. And then filming some stuff. Kind of a day in the life of a, the Tin Man intern. Dude! Is it on right now? Yeah. Time to figure out if I'm going to be like a like natural on camera. Yeah. How was the run? How'd it feel? Slogging it because some we we uh, one of us went into a sauna and had a lift and had a double threshold yesterday. So I don't know who it was. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who that could be. Whoever that was. That uh, guy's I don't crazy. like. What kind of who kind of person would do that? But uh, no, it felt good and um, it hurt. Um, it hurt for me. Yeah. It was like eight miles easy. My heart rate yeah. wasn't crazy. Like I looked at the data, it's like 140s all the way through, and I'm like, okay, right. not bad. But like body wise, I'm like, okay, I feel pretty fatigued. I need to sleep. Need, like, need to get about a sleep tonight and that's gonna help. Shake it out, yeah, it was just a good run to like shake out the junk, you know? Yeah, for real. Yeah, we got something on fire over here. I don't even know what this is. Do you know what this is over there? Isn't that like it's where we run? run? Yeah, that's, where, that's the road that connects to the other side of the road. And I'm not one for a you do a shrimp. We're gonna eat it. Treat for turtles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I don't know what you expected. What does my hat look like? My 1996 Atlanta Olympics hat. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I feel like being out here in Boulder has taught me a lot about running in general. It's also taught me how to wear five panel hats. Uh, which has been uh, it's been really life changing. It's been a really life changing moment. It's allowed me to hang out with pros pretty much all the time and see how they take care of themselves and just see like what their psychology is behind why they run. And I guess me growing up in a small community in Mississippi, it's a very different perspective than what these guys have had. They do it for a living, and from where I come from, it's usually just like me and then one other police police officer. Where I come from, it's just me and one other guy, a police officer, John, who jogs around the community, and then that's about it. And then there's also like a high school with some cross country stuff. But I remember the first time I got a glimpse of like the culture of Boulder was whenever my friend Evan he got back from Boulder, and I remember seeing him out in front of the dorm, like doing his double at 9 p.m. And I'm like, why is this guy like running at 9 p.m.? What is he doing? Like, and it was, it was such a weird experience because I was like, I've never seen anybody like do that or like that type of dedication. And then I come out here and it's literally like everybody, everybody that I'm hanging out with is literally that dedicated or more, de more dedicated. And it's just so cool to be here. And so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of drop that in. Um, I, I'll probably make some more videos like this, just kind of day in the life type stuff, whatever it ends up being. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe, I guess. Tweet me a date, David Dobrik. See you guys.